Greetings to everyone. It is a great opportunity to be able to present our paper entitled Mang Kalakal, a prototype promoting waste management and segregation among local government units. Once again, I would like to present our team from Lyceum of the Philippines University, Manila. This meme gives an overview of our mother nature being disregarded nowadays. There are tons of environmental issues created by humans that only humans can solve. Let me now turn over the spotlight to our student lead researchers, Erin and Vaughn. Erin and Vaughn? According to Berger in 2018, waste management has evolved into a global issue with far-reaching consequences, reducing waste production significantly through prevention, reduction, recycling, and reuse, which is a primary focus of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals or SDGs objectives designed to reduce communities' negative per capita environmental impact. According to the World Bank in 2021, the poorest countries suffer disproportionately because over 90% of waste in developing countries is publicly thrown away or burned. The primary issue with recycling in waste banks is that communities do not practice garbage separation, resulting in all solid waste being mixed together. As a result, waste management requires innovation and understanding how legislation can encourage innovation in this area is crucial. In relation to the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, the researchers' advocacy is associated to these stated goals as shown in the slide that are related to one another as they aim to have a sustainable community to live in. As for the ambition 19-2040, this study centers on ensuring that the residents of a specific community promote ecological commitment and resiliency in communities to be imagined in 2040. With the emergence of robotic concepts today, stimulating innovations can be a way to adopt technology that can be a fundamental source of a livable community, like the study's proposed prototype. And finally, this study also promotes the Ecological Solid Waste Management Act of 2000, which provides a recommendation towards having a green community utilizing innovations. This study will allow the utilization of various innovations that may be used and improved by robotics winners and future researchers. This study will provide assistance with waste management machines and enable an innovative approach to issues concerning the environment. Produce more opportunities for various strategies and policies for the LGUs. The recommended prototype will also help supervise communities' waste status, raise concern for both the government and the citizens about the, the environment, and disseminate environmental information for the public. Finally, the researchers aim to develop technological machines for environmental uses. Therefore, this study can serve as a proposal uh, to waste management projects using the prototypes. The conceptual framework represents the two main variables, namely waste management, waste management practices and attitude towards recycling, and their connection with the demographic profile of the respondents, which is composed of five factors. The mentioned SOPs are ways to produce the analysis report about the respondent's demographic profile. The assessment of barangay leaders on the waste management practices in their respective community. The attitude of barangay leaders towards recycling and to know the correlation of all information with regards to the study. The researchers utilized the quantitative correlational research design to emphasize measurable metrics and empirical, computational, or analysis of polls, questionnaires, and surveys, or key quantitative data across different algorithms. Meanwhile, purposive sampling was used because of the characterization of the respondents. The G-Power software was also used to figure out the sample of the size. The researchers used two surveys, consisting of the whole survey. The first part of the survey is authored by the Commission on Audit Citizen Participatory Audit Report entitled Implementation of Solid Waste Management Program of Quezon City, which has 20 items. The second part of the survey is authored by Nud S. Larson's study entitled Environmental Waste, Recycling Attitudes and Correlates, also 20 items, all of which were validated by waste management, language, and research experts with reliability test results of 0.833 or good. The data gathered is cleaned with the use of Microsoft Excel before it was transferred to IBM SPSS to accumulate the results, wherein frequency distribution, weighted mean, standard deviation, chi-square test, and Pearson moment correlation were utilized. This study's specific target areas are the selected barangays in the National Capital Region or NCR as the local of the study. The NCR, often known as Metro Manila, is the country's political, economic, and educational center. 
The researchers gathered the demographic profiles of a total of 214 barangay officials to determine if there is a significant difference in terms of their sex, age, barangay number, position as barangay leader, years as, years as barang residents, and their educational attainment as an elected barangay official. This slide shows that it is evident that the waste management practices of the communities are slightly effective with 132 or 61.7% out of 214 responses. Moving on to the following slide, the, the findings revealed that the barangay leaders have an extremely negative attitude towards recycling with a total of 45.8% or 98 out of 214 respondents along with these top five statements. This slide indicated that their waste management practices are slightly effective, while their attitude towards recycling is ex extremely negative. Therefore, as their attitude towards recycling becomes negative, the efficiency of their waste management practices becomes less effective and vice versa. To find the correlation between the two variables, we used Pearson moment correlation. It resulted with an R value of 0.484 which shows that there is a significant moderate high positive correlation. After gathering the results, the researchers have concluded that barangay officials from NCR are not very involved in the implementation waste management programs as well as recycling regardless of their demographic profile. In addition, the number of years spent in a community influence how concerned a person is with their environment. Waste management in NCR barangays is only slightly effective due to the widespread unsorted garbage, garbage collectors collection methods, barangay officials' attitude towards waste management, waste management backup methods, and the presence of organizations. Residents of NCR barangays, particularly barangay officials, have little to no motivation to recycle since their attitude towards recycling is extremely negative. Poor or inconsistent waste management practices may lead to a negative attitude towards recycling and vice versa. As we are about to reach the end of our presentation, these are the researchers' recommendations for their study. The researchers recommend the use of the proposed prototype of waste management purposes in a community since not only does it help motivate the residents to partake in proper waste segregation, but it also promotes the use of technology in creating a solution for contemporary problems. For environmental agencies, they should revise the Republic Act No. 9003 and pursue charges against barangays who do not adhere to this law. As for LGUs, they should call the attention of barangays and barangay officials and provide them with memorandums and private seminars on proper waste management practices to keep public health and safety in check. Barangay officials should be more effective in implementing and adopting environmental policies and maintain the effectiveness of such policies. Moreover, MRFs should continue to improve their services in communities by increasing the frequency of recycling this, the collected waste and assessing their sorting equipment's limits. Sanitary engineers should learn to evaluate communities and take the initiative to address their waste management situations to the barangay officials or environmental government agencies, while the community citizens should make an effort to improve their waste management habits within their homes. For robotic students, they should maximize the use of technology in addressing waste management issues that are experienced in certain barangays. And lastly, future researchers should create a strategy that effectively influences the mindset of the citizens and barangay officials towards more positive waste management habits. And now, may we present to you the simulation of our Mangkalakal prototype recommendation. Mangkalakal is a prototype that promotes proper waste management and segregation in communities. Its main function is to waste solid waste, segregate metal and plastic, and sustain the lives of community citizens in a specific barangay, particularly in NCR. In this prototype, we must first open the microcontroller to ensure that it is functioning as desired. We will then plug in two power supplies so that the whole system will generate its power. As seen in the video, the LCD will display Hello, I'm Mangkalakal, and the default weight from the weight sensor is shown right after. And now for the demo proper. Starting with the weighing of waste, we'll get a can and place it on the weighing platform. The weight of the can is then shown on the LCD in grams.
After that, we will move on to the prototype's main function. First is the detection of plastic. So for our first item, the coke bottle. For our second item, the spray bottle. And for our third item, the small container. All detected as plastic. And of course, the detection of metal. For our first item, the canned good. For our second item, the cookie can. And for our third item, the pineapple drink can. All detected as metal. The prototype's bin also has an ultrasonic sensor to detect if the bin is already full. The researchers filled the bin until it was full. Then the full status was shown on the LCD. Finally, after the whole process of weighing waste, detecting whether metal or plastic, segregating via the platform attached to the servo motor, and the bin being full, the Mangkalakal is now ready for another cycle and can be used for waste management purposes. Thank you and this is Team R2D2's For the proposed prototype, the researchers recommend this to future researchers to enhance the capability and efficiency of the prototype by modifying it such as adding solar power to make it more eco-friendly. Furthermore, adding a keypad membrane for the user's basis of the reward system. They can also adjust by making it segregate paper materials and increasing the detected weight of the waste. And lastly, by adding a variety of rewards to make the users more engaged in waste management. As shown in the following slides, we consolidated some of our documentation on how we disseminate our research survey to reach our goal number of respondents. We reached out to elected barangay officials in the NCR using various internet platforms. Also attached in this slide are the photos of the researchers making the prototype. Before we end our presentation, we just want to remind everyone that it's important to keep in mind that we should take care of the environment. Efficacious, use, new, vast, innovative, radical, optimistic, novel, multipurpose, emboldened, nifty, and transformative. Again, once again, we have a great day everyone. God bless us all and thank you very much.